I've been asked to talk about RTX a little bit, about five months after it's been over. RTX is still the most fun experience that I've ever had in my entire life, and uh, the most surreal experience that I've ever had in my entire life. N now that we spent three, four days together in the same Airbnb, it's like, I could probably do that forever. Because when we're all there together, our motivation and determination and will and, and our drive just like succeeds everything. We could go anywhere with that. Uh, which is why it makes it a little bit difficult going back to your home and uh, kind of back to how it was before. Everybody had their moments with, with everybody, with certain people, everybody had a, a, a great bond it's it was it was great it was crazy like every single moment was was great i definitely um think that everybody should work in order to experience something like that again because it takes it, it took a lot of hard work in order to experience something like that to begin with even for four days and if we want to experience that for our whole lives we're gonna have to put in a lot more effort than even that during RTX, after the panel was over, we all reflected and we thought to create a studio and and really just achieve our dreams. But we do have the power. It's, it was right there in our hands. It's still right there in our hands. I think the moral of the story is keep moving forward and uh, it always will be. To me, RTX was a punctuation point in the forming of our friend group over the last several years, learning about how their interests were similar to mine when it came to storytelling and having fun creating things. I was really excited when we decided to go down to Texas in the summer for a few days and attend RTX. When we all met up in the same room for the first time, face to face, there was a new magic in the air. Regardless of our online chats or Discord calls, there just was something new here that we, at least I, hadn't felt before. Attending the convention and taking part in everything that was happening there, or just walking around the streets of Austin, being at a restaurant, planning our panel, which I'm still shocked we got a panel and that all that happened. Or even just hanging out at the Airbnb we were staying at, where we just talked and goofed around. Whatever we were doing, it was just a blast. There were live hacks and challenges, and road bumps, and the stress, but there were just as many, if not more, just exciting times. Whether we were preparing for the next day, what we were going to do, or just moment to moment, just singing in the car, or just messing around. RTX, I think, served as a reminder and a culmination of why we met and why we stuck together so far. And now, after the trip, I think I see something more special in the group, and I do hope there is a future to be found there, and regardless of when we meet up again, which I really hope happens. I'll always associate our first are probably our most important group meetup with RTX and for that I'll always fondly remember RTX and I'll always cherish that trip. Reflecting back on RTX um, I kind of just get this overwhelming amount of just like emotions and feelings that I don't know exactly how to explain it's a lot of it's good it's an overwhelming good that I just don't know how to explain and it's also it's the the tiny mix of sad of just wanting to kind of like experience that again when thinking back on it I I can remember when I was originally getting there I was on very high alert of just like not wanting to get in the way of these people they had something really good going on even though they from the beginning they just gave me really a shot that like I in a way didn't feel like I quite deserved yet. I was very grateful that they did give me that. I remember going to the store with Jump. Uh, I remember going to Red Robin 
with Sai and seeing her fall in love with a real American burger. Hydro, Eric, his energy of just like always having this can-do attitude. All of them, all of them. Vagrant, Sai, Jump, Cake, Landon, all, every single one of them brought something to the table. And right when we got to our gate, then I just had this overwhelming feeling and I I began to tear up. I I began to just like think out a whole bunch of things and AK was taking notice. And then I just told him, I was just like, I can't keep on doing what I have been doing and I want to, I want to commit to this. I want to thank all of Project Rose or what will soon be Six Birds for being such a accepting group and taking on someone like me who at times doesn't feel like I am exactly worthy of that yet, but no matter what, because of that kindness, I'm going to continuously be working towards improving myself for the betterment of my own self, but also to make you guys proud. Um, and lastly, I think it is due to thank Monty Ohm for bringing together this amazing group of people and almost creating a weird dystopian form of family in a way that really has been able to connect over even such a short amount of time. Here is to us continuously working towards our future and making something really great. My time at RTX was unbelievable. It was the ultimate step out of my comfort shell experience. And I learned so much about myself and about what I want to do moving forward in my life. It was the most important trip in my life, to be, if I'm being honest. Who would have thought that out of nowhere, I'd, I'd be driving around a bunch of internet strangers in a minivan around Austin, trying to find parking, losing my, my debit card, so many things going wrong for me all at once. But the friends that I had there that supported me, kept me going, reassured me, made me feel comfortable. And that was amazing. I hope that moving forward after this, that we can finally do what we were trying to do, which is make art, not tied by, you know, creative limitations from like companies and whatnot, make what we want to make and make a living out of it, which was which is something I really want to do. And I, and I know that our friends, everyone that I'm working with, also wants to achieve this. It was just so much fun, man, being there. It's such a fever dream thinking about it, going back on it. I, it was that, that, that Red Robin lunch that we had after the panel. We felt, I felt on top of the world. I felt like I could, I could animate anything. I could achieve anything. I had so much fun chatting with everybody. Uh, Bunker Chong, put up that picture if you can. As that, after that moment on the ride back on the plane, I listened to Let's Live and I started bawling out my eyes. There was some guy sitting next to me. I, I couldn't hold back the feelings, man. There was just so much going on. I, I, wandering around the panel, trying to give out the promotion cards for our panel, the nerves leading up to it, the dry runs, the amount of dry runs, the, the revisions that I had to do late at night in the bed, on the way to, on the way to Austin, um, <laughs> getting the rental car and figuring out that they don't take debit cards. It was only credit card only. And that big ass line that they had was only for the credit card line. Everything else was empty. That only took, it was a mess, man. 2024 is our year. So let's do this all a favor and keep moving forward. RTX, it feels like such a long time ago. And in retrospect, it was only a couple of months ago, but God, what a weekend. <laughs> you know when you're flying somewhere and you're in the mindset of, this is going to go very wrong. I had that for a while. It was a great mix. Going to America for my first flight, great, great start. Um, oh God, the 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 souls I would I would suck up from the damned to be able to do it again. <laughs> it was such a fun weekend with everybody. I've never had such bad person withdrawal syndrome in my life. I think that night after the panel, when we were all in our in our cool down, I guess and. The whole trip to Red Robin and screaming red like roses at the top of our lungs and 
god man it seared something into my bones that day you you know when you realize like this these are my people this 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 right here this is what i want in life i finally found out what that meant i'm i don't live in america so animation and, and that kind of stuff isn't as prominent on this side of the world to find a group of people and have to, a name and a face to put the names on the internet such a magical experience I don't know where I'd be without Project Rose. I don't know where I'd be without everyone being such supportive friends and husbands in Cake's case. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever have words to describe the appreciation I have for one, letting me come over, for two, putting up with my chaos, and for three, just accepting me for what I am. Um, ugh, God, I hope I get to see you again this year. By w whatever sacrifice orphans, I'll fucking do it, man. Like. It will happen. I'm going to see you guys again, and it's going to be even better than the RTX trip. Seared into my brain. I still have everything. I have my lanyard is on my microphone stand. The lanyard from the trip. Uh, I have the the badge. Like, I have it pinned against the whiteboard. The cards we made for the panel. That's in my glass shelf. Such such important memories, and I'm so glad I got to make it with all of you. And hopefully, we can keep making these memories and be better because. Fuck, you're stuck with me now. Like, I have nowhere else to go. I've put my whole fucking Sayossi into this. <laughs> yeah, thank you for such an amazing trip. Hopefully we get to do it again. We will get to do it again, because I'll fucking arrive to the States one day, whether you like it or not. Go fuck yourselves. Affectionately. <laughs> dude, I don't even know where to start with RTX, dude. Like, it was, like, single-handedly one of the most crazy things that I've ever done in my life. I drove... 15 hours one way which is like five times further than i've ever driven before just stay in a house with a bunch of people with whom my previous interactions 90 percent of which has just has been solely text chat it's people that i barely really that i really barely know but it turned out to be great like it was awesome meeting everybody um and i i can't wait to to be able to do something like that again like you guys were all amazing dude the fact that everybody was able to to be there and then all the Project Rose people were able to like put on put on a panel at RTX is wild. Like this trip for me was kind of a chance to step into the shoes of someone whose life I had always dreamed about. But working with you all over the past like couple of years, like like it was a chance to kind of see what what life is like on the other side. Like I wouldn't have chosen to do it with anybody else. Um, like I don't think I don't think I could have found a better group of people to to get a chance to see that with. I see the RTX trip as like a precursor to what's possible. Like working together in person, like like being able to work together in person um, to make the the trip and the panel and just the convention the best that it could possibly be for everybody was incredibly rewarding. And I really like I, I think that was just kind of a look at what things could be if we if we continue in the direction that we're going. I, I can't wait to see what uh, what we've got cooking. <laughs> That's a stupid way to say that, but it's, it's so incredibly exciting to think about the possibilities that this group has. Just wanna thank everybody. I'm, I'm so grateful for even being allowed to, like given the opportunity to to be a part of all this because I was, I was kind of just a last minute addition to the trip, let's be honest. That I was even able to experience any of that is, is all thanks to you guys. Like you guys kind of stuck your neck out for me there. <laughs> yeah, thank you all. Um, and I cannot wait until next time providing whatever, whatever that may be. So thanks. RTX 2023 was the moment when things became real. We spent the last few years learning and building and preparing and improving ourselves in every way, but we didn't have anything to show for it. And then all of a sudden, there we are, on stage, selling ourselves to the world. I've known these people for so long, but they were just names on the screen. And now I turned the corner and everyone is right there in front of me. This whole operation transformed overnight from a fan group on the internet to a real collective of friends. I believe that we've got to taste what it's like to share a vision 
and to be a found family. And I don't know how we can settle for anything less. RTX 2023 has become the benchmark of which I want to live the rest of my life against. The RTX trip meant a lot to me. It, it was a first of so many things. It was the first time I was ever away from home completely by myself and being able to meet all my friends who have been so like-minded and supportive. And when I met Jump, it was like the beginning of everything. You know, I, my standards were higher. Someone who actually cared about the person and his, his ethos and his work ethic. And you know, it was, it was great. And I just kept meeting people. I never thought it would happen. I especially never thought it would amount to winding up at RTX. I got to meet you know, some of my heroes that I've been watching forever. I got to meet Jack and Jeff. I got to talk to Lindsay. Uh, it was, it was, that was an interesting context. She was doing a VTuber thing. She did actually like help me out because I almost stopped because it was a little bit too pushy. And she said, Dude, tell me more. The hard work, the hard nights, you know, the team actually holding me up. At some point, I thought that everyone else was too tired to keep going and and Jump came to me and said, you ready for another run? And I was like, it's a 1.30 in the morning. Absolutely, we need to practice. And we built out the entire panel just in two nights that we were there. We spent one whole day almost making it. Sai had the great idea of uh, having business cards printed out so that on Sunday we did nothing but go around the convention and bother people and hand them business cards. Shivo handed Trevor Collins a business card for Project Rose with no introduction whatsoever. We just, he has it. I don't know what he did with it, but he has it. We did that the whole day. It was mad. I keep telling people this when I talk about RTX, but there is a moment where I realized that everything is relying on our decisions and what we do, and my fear goes away. We got through it. We made the panel. We freaked out. My gut was in a twist. We were practicing the panel and all of our rehearsing all of our lines all the way up to the very minute that we were going to go into the fire pit stage to present the panel. And we got set up, we did it, and completely unexpectedly, we found out that not only Neith Ohm, but Shivi Ohm was going to be attending our panel, and I couldn't believe it. There were people in a room, a physical room, who were here to see our panel, to see my work, and to see how much we loved Monty, and how much we want to honor him, and how much, we w how much we're willing to do to keep his art alive. To, to hear Shivi laughing, you know, having a great time watching him an animation, and after the whole panel was over, we all came out. Me and, and Neith and, and Shivi got to talk personally one-to-one. -one. There is something that Shivi said that I am absolutely never going to forget for the rest of my life, which is that he said he couldn't have done better himself. And it was, it was like, I, there, there, it, there it is. You know, I, I tried so hard, I worked so hard for so long and overcame so many mental barriers, overcame so many people who told me just to not do it, to give up, to have my own voice, not to to study or try to replicate Monty Ohm's work. It all amounted to the moment where I got to make Monty's brothers feel like they were watching a Monty Ohm animation. And for that, I will absolutely, I, I, I'll never be able to thank Project Rose and my viewers and everyone. I'll never be able to thank them enough for giving me that opportunity for bringing an ultimate goal into my life and making that a reality. Say hello to the future. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs>